Hey everybody and welcome back to my channel. Um, we did the unboxing of the PlayStation and today I'm doing another unboxing of something a little bit different. Um, today we are unboxing an S20. Now the reason I'm opening this is because I, I normally wouldn't be opening this on my channel to be honest because it's not actually technically gaming related but um, the reason... Oh, I broke my pencil. <laughs> Okay, um, yeah, the reason we are opening this is because um, I was, wasn't was due a phone upgrade at all, but um, O2 were very kind enough to foot the bill for a free upgrade, so I can't complain. So that's the phone itself. It's, I've gone for the Plus, um, because the reason is, is I'm a very large man. Not weight wise, come on now. Uh, <laughs> but um, definitely hands, oh god, definitely hands wise. And I always find when I'm texting, I make a ton of mistakes because I've got big thumbs and it really annoys me. And I've always considered going for a plus size phone and I haven't as until now. So I'm kind of excited to see texting wise if it's any better. Is there, a, is there a thing there? Yeah, there was, wasn't there? I accidentally peeled some of it off. Um, so this is the phone. God, come on. Why would it come off? Oh, God damn. Okay, we'll leave that on for a second. Um, so this is, I've gone for the, the cloud white, and I must admit, looks wise, it looks amazing. Um, I can't show you my old phone because I'm actually using it to record, but uh, it was the same kind of white. Uh, we've got the six camera thing up here. I'm very interested to see the difference in that. But overall, a very nice phone. So that's the phone, anyway. It also comes with uh, a bunch of other stuff, aka uh, the new charger. I'm not sure what this is. What's this? What are you? Uh, nothing, just cardboard. Uh, <laughs> exciting, exciting stuff. Um, you've got the, the wire for the charger as well. So you do get the usual bits you find you get in your phones. And I assume this is some headphones. Some lovely, lovely white headphones to go with the phone. Uh, oh, and some like little jelly add-ons. There you go. Overall, some nice headphones. Can't wait to use them. And I believe in here, what's left in here is just all your pack information and your SIM card pin. But yeah, uh, actually I think that's it. That is just the SIM card pin. So yeah, overall, a nice little phone. We'll get it switched on and I will show you what it looks like once it's all set up, if I can get this goddamn pin out um, and get the SIM card in. Now, the other thing, I'm, this isn't obviously a sponsored video. Obviously, I don't do those at the moment because I've only got 200 subscribers. But um, when uh, when you upgrade, I upgraded for free. I checked. I advise everyone to check their O2 because they are offering to some people uh, a free upgrade, which is the reason why I got this. Uh, and also when you upgrade, you get six months i think it's either amazon prime or disney plus or there's a couple of other things you can choose from so it, it makes the whole thing worthwhile because you do get your six months of free uh services you get the phone which is an amazing top of the line new phone you obviously do need to take out a new contract if you are on contract um but i'm not paying any more or any less so I'm, I'm paying exactly the same amount of money but i'm just getting a new phone uh, a year early so not too bad um, but yeah, I will be back in a minute once the phone's charged up and turned on and set up and I will show you what the camera looks like and things like that. Welcome back. And now I have uh, done the setup, the initial setup uh, of the uh, phone. You can now see the main screen. Um, I must admit it's pretty fast. It doesn't take long to load everything up um, and sort of get through things it's a very fast phone um which is great it's really really good 
Um, I haven't checked out too many of the features as, as of yet, but um, the one thing I do want to look at is the camera. And already it looks to be pretty good. Uh, just allow that. So you can take a single take photo by the looks of things. I don't know what that means, but there you go. You can zoom in and out. Uh, and actually considering that's pretty close to my TV, I mean, sorry, apologies. It looks pretty disgusting. But um, if I zoom in on that, it's got a very wide angled lens on it. That's pretty close to the headphones. Let's put it back to one times. So that's pretty close to those headphones, right? I can get in, oh God, very close. And it's still in perfect focus. And I can still go further if I want to, but it does obviously, because I'm so close, it is, um, <laughs> it's uh, struggling a little bit, but the focus on it is absolutely, let's actually focus, sorry, there you go. I'm gonna keep going in, I'm gonna keep going in, and eventually it changes camera by the looks of it. It changes obviously one of those lens by the looks of it, because it can't handle going in any further. Um, but yeah, that's pretty good, that's a pretty amazing camera. To think that it can just keep going in. I mean, we are six times. We can get up to about nine times close to the. And you look how far away I am. That's pretty incredible. And if you look at the options here, we can go 30 times closer. Now, it's showing you at a better angle because obviously I'm so close that it's, it looks like nothing. But um, if, um, if I were to use this outside or somewhere different and I was to zoom in. Uh, I could go 30 times and see something 30 times away, which is pretty incredible for a camera that's on a phone. So, yeah, amazing camera. If you're buying this for the camera, I definitely recommend this phone. Holy cow. I mean, it, as you can see, it changes when it gets too close. It kind of tries to change angle and give you a bit of a different perspective, but absolutely amazing. Um, let's come off of that. You've got video, obviously. Uh, and the video can go up to 12 times closer <laughs> than it needs to be, which is again, amazing really for a video. That's awesome. And then there is a more section which you can do panoramics, pros, food, nice. It, it has a load of, um, pre settings for you. So that's a very cool camera. Uh, as I said, for the speed, it's pretty good. The setup, I mean, you can see my apps are starting to download now. Um, but overall, that's been really, really easy, really, really easy. So yeah, uh, if I was to rate this phone, I'd say um, definitely, um, probably, I'd say a 10. 10 out of 10 for my opinion. Bearing in mind, I am a bit of a Samsung fiend. I do like Samsung a lot for their phones. Uh, my last phone, as I said, was a Samsung. I think I had the Samsung, oh God. Um, not even sure samsung 10 something something like that but this is the s20 uh, plus and uh so far so good it does get a little bit hot uh it has been on charge admittedly and it is trying to do a lot of stuff at the moment but it does run a little hot and i know that's always an issue with samsung's but maybe when things have stopped it's, it's calmed down downloading and things like that maybe it'll cool off a bit but um but yeah overall pretty good uh, but i'll keep an eye on the heat for sure, and I'll put it in the comments if it still runs quite hot. Uh, but other than that, that's the only thing I've noticed so far with this phone that is not particularly uh, wanted. <laughs> but yeah, overall, great phone. I um, hope you enjoyed this unboxing. Uh, we probably won't get to do too many of these over the channel's history, uh, at least not in the first year anyway. So um, yeah, let me know what you think of the unboxing uh in the comments and hopefully you leave a like and subscribe take care guys bye